So this is the 210 volt Frankenstein setup. Now you can see there's an extra block of cells here now, so we've got 84 cells. Um, so that gives us 210 volts nominal. We've got the HCH2 DC to DC stock on top. And uh, I've got a substitute MCM at the moment because the one I've got underneath there is, seems to have a problem, but I'm not sure what it is. So, yes, it wasn't all plain sailing and it's still not working yet, but I think I know what the problem is. I think the problem is with the initial calibration of the battery current sensor. It's just giving me one battery current sensor message now. Uh, it does start with the IMA at 210 volts. Uh, I First of all, I actually wired this up incorrectly on the low voltage side, which was annoying, so I think that may have damaged the MCM I had in here, but, you know, that's one of the costs of trying to do these sorts of things. I just made a silly mistake and got one of the RAS one way around. Um, so I put my other MCM in. So this one has got the correct rotor position calibration etc completed. The other one wouldn't let me complete that for some reason, I don't know why. And I've swapped out the battery current sensor um, but I'm still getting a battery current sensor error as I say but only once you start the car after you start the car for about five seconds. So I think the calibration is wrong for that. So if you remember because we've doubled the voltage the uh, the speed that the voltage ramps up um, is like twice as fast as it is expecting so it's probably not calibrating correctly so I'll need to go in and look at the um, bypass resistor and uh, check if I can manipulate that or if you remember I doubled the value of that in the other setup so that it removed that battery current sensor so basically I've got to take it all out again uh, get it on the bench tidy it up a bit more and uh, we'll see if the extra resistor and the pre-charge resistor fixes the battery current sensor uh, issue. Um, I had to make a little fan here for the DC to DC converter because the HCH to DC converter won't fit onto the lithium board. You know, it won't go into the normal vent. The, I've still got the lithium DC DC to DC converter under there, but I've disconnected it. So this is working fine. The car's happy with this. Accepted this now. I've got it wired up correctly. Um, but I've just got the one battery current sensor error, so I'll take it all out again, get it on the bench, I'll swap this MCM into the proper place, and uh, see if I can uh, sort out this last error. But it starts with the IMA, and um, we're making progress.